every decision that you make has consequences. Are you making yourself better? Or are you making yourself worse? Are you moving forward or are you moving back? Are you making progress or are you stagnating? Every little decision you make counts. There are no shortcuts, there are no hacks. If you wanna take the easy road, I promise you it's longer and more painful than the hard road. If you set out and you say you're gonna do something, do yourself a favor and don't lie to yourself. Because that is the worst thing that an individual can ever do. You think you lying to your peers. You think you lying to your mother. You think you lying to your teacher. You think you lying to your coach. At the end of the day, when you look in the mirror, you lying to you. In 10 years from now, nobody can do anything for you. That's going to be the life that you created, not anybody else. You make your bed, you got to lay in it. Let other people blame their parents, their boss, or the system. Let weaker people complain that the world isn't fair. You are the leader of your life. Choose the hard path. The path of responsibility, hard work, and sacrifice. The path of discipline, humility, and ownership that ultimately leads to freedom. Make discipline part of your daily life, and your daily life will get better. It's learning to discipline this mind. It's a muscle. The mind is a muscle. Emotion is a muscle. I don't negotiate with myself. Well, I'm gonna go do it tomorrow. I'm gonna do this, or I'm gonna do like two more minutes till I'm ready. There's none of that shit with me. For decades, I go, I say we do. I'm not here to discuss this shit with my mind. There's mind, and then there's soul and spirit. And soul and spirit, my soul fucking knows. And when I say jump, you fucking jump. I'm not here to have a discussion with you. But you have to take control and train this brain. If you don't train this brain, it'll use you instead of you using it. Instead of letting your goals and your tasks and your health and your discipline waver, rise up and aggressively move forward down the path toward victory. You have no business being average, but now you justify it. You come up with these great reasons why you can't get up at five. You have these great reasons of why you have to do everything, why you don't execute, why you don't finish, why you don't follow through, why you say you don't exercise and you do it for about 10 days and you quit. You've got an excuse for why you're average. I guarantee you if you were humble enough, if you were hungry enough, if you really wanted what you said, you'd sit down and you'd study what you do and you'd say, I can do this better. But I have not exhausted all my time. I have not exhausted all my resources. There's something missing. You're not where you're supposed to be. It's not going to take a lot, but it's a small gap. And the gap is called execution. If you want to execute just a little bit more, you'll be on a whole other level. And I'm telling you, you're not where you want to be financially. You are not the person you want to be. And you have not given yourself enough credit to say, I just need to get up a half hour earlier and my whole life will change. I just need to get up one hour early. I just need to work one hour longer. I need to stop hitting that snooze button. If you were to make that one change, that one sacrifice, you would stop dreaming and start living it.